So as you can see, this noise has gotten pretty bad because of that. So until I get home, get it welded up, I'm gonna wedge this in between the inner fender and that piece of metal that's broken. So yeah, that'll take the noise out of it until I get, get it home, get it tore apart and welded up. Hey everyone, Rick here with the Ditch Pig. Just a quick video here, fixing uh, an issue that came up because of the weekend wheeling. Probably a year or two ago, the bolt that goes in here for this wheel well broke. And me being me, I left it. I was like, you know what? We got other bolts here. To... No need to worry. It's not gonna go anywhere. And it's true, it held up for quite a while. But now, this bolt here has ripped out. This flaps and slaps and goes on. It's not a good scene. That has to be fixed. I can't handle it. It's just driving me nuts. So I gotta take this bolt out here that I welded a tab in for that <clears throat> to help hold that. So there's actually three bolts. Then I've got to try and get that out. And like I say, in behind there, the square nut piece that's threaded, that ripped right out of the this rail piece that comes down. I got a bunch of other bolts that go up through. These are for battery box mount. And I've got some bolts that go in along here along the wheel well. I'll have to undo those. Looks like we lost a couple and they tore out. There's still a few in there somewhere, I think. So yeah, just another occurrence of me leaving stuff too long and then it breaking other stuff. And it all came about because of the wheeling. Twisting this thing up, it got twisted pretty hard, thrashed around. That's when stuff lets go. Even on a good day when everything's optimal and welded together and bolted together properly, you know, you're gonna break stuff. But when you got stuff that's flopping and it has a chance to move, it always wrecks stuff. Reader. So I've mentioned in some of my other videos uh, how these bolts got ripped out for the battery boxes and these things got loose. Well, the weekend there did a number on these. I think there was only like one bolt that was still holding and another one was like starting to thread out. A lot of times I lose hardware just from vibration. This thing having 42 inch bias ply, unbalanced tires, um, just going down the road. They do this the whole time. Depending on what speed you're at, certain speeds you hit smooths out, other speeds, no, it's vicious. First thing in the morning, they've always got flat spots, so you're uh, down the road. It just wiggles everything and the bolts back out, even with Loctite, sometimes they do. So what I did was I went through and I just put a nut on the back, because the piece that I had welded into the fender, it just pulled out, pulled through the fender. You got that square tad that's threaded. So I would take that off put the bolt back through, big washer on the back side to hold it with a, a nut on it and tighten them up so my batteries are secure. I'm gonna try and leave these bolted in and not mess with them because it's a lot of work to undo all that and take it out just to fix those. If I can get that to drop down enough to get in there with the welder, I'm gonna go at it. And obviously I'll leave this set up the way that it's gonna be with the nuts on the back. I'll leave that till another day. At some point in time, this fender's gonna have to come off. I'm pretty sure I got a crack up in there on the pillar. Yeah, this stuff in here is always cracking and whatnot from flexing. So I'm pretty sure there's a crack down in there, maybe some up in here, it cracks in there. So this will have to come off, this comes off, the hood obviously, all that's gonna come off in order to fix it. So I'm gonna leave that until I absolutely have to do it. Yeah, that's what happened, that just ripped off. And the metal that it was welded to is all bent and twisted and broken. Man, I love that impact, that atomic, it's nice and short, half inch. What a beaut. Shout out to DeWalt for making such a kick-ass tool. So I took this rubber piece out that I had wedged in there. Really, it worked awesome. I'm not gonna lie, I was real tempted to say, you oh, know, that'll last for a while, I'll leave it in there, and no, I gotta fix it. <laughs> but yeah, there was zero noise, so it did the trick. All right, I got it all except for these wires here from the inverter, because they're hooked to this fuse, so I'm gonna have to take these terminals off, and then this whole thing will drop right down. Like, as you can see, there's only the very front bolts are holding it still, so I'll take those out and uh, 
We should be good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Arcing. So that one there is the only one with power to it. So that should be fine sitting there like that. No arcing. Now I've got plenty of room to get at these activities. So I turned the wheel on this thing, try and get a little bit better of an angle to get a little bit more room. It didn't seem to help. I jacked it up. I'm gonna pull that tire off. Hopefully this will drop down a lot more. This thing here makes that Atomic look like a wimp. She's full size, full power. The only thing I don't like about it is this battery. Gotta have an extension in order to clear the rim. But whatever. Not so much better. So yeah, here's the deal here. That broke off of there. I'm just gonna weld a rectangular tab with a bolt or a nut piece coming out off of that. And that'll go through this hole. This one here, you can see she rearranged her a bit there. I'll just weld a piece of flat bar in on that. I'll cut that out and weld a piece of flat bar to this. Cause this is pretty strong. I got her welded to the floor there pretty good, but I saw the beating and pounding and it just took that off. It's no real big deal easy fix just taking the time to do it and I usually don't so today's the day I also made sure that I unhooked the power wires the two connectors and the power feed to the Holly computer as always better safe than sorry okay I got these two pieces fabbed up this one here I'm gonna weld in here there's a break in the floor here where I'll weld that up first and I'll put this on like that. This piece here I'll weld in on like that. And then I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna make the bolt setup work for both of them. And this is my stepdaughter Layla. She's single and looking for an emo guy. Come on. I got that uh, hole patched up. I just gobbed some welding there, and then I'll weld that piece of angle iron over top of it. I also have this welded in. That's gonna hold the inner fender on that side, so I'm gonna bolt that up first so that I can get this side lined up so that I know that it's gonna match up. All right, I got this bolt in up here, that one in up there. I got the piece vice gripped in the back here. So I got a pencil mark on this, and I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna drill a hole, and then try and get it lined up at the right angle because the piece is on an angle this is on a different angle this goes in a bit more but not much so it sits right about there it's tricky well we're losing our daylight fast i put the wheel well up in place and put the bolt through and put that collar in there that's going to be a spacer because the wheel well doesn't come flush to that and that's the angle we'll need so i'll weld a nut on the back of that and then the bolt just slides through that tubing into the nut threads in we should be golden. Okay. Everything is welded up, lined up, ready to bolt back together. I sprayed some clear on it because I don't have black paint yet, but I'll put some black on it later. But we're good to go. Throw it back together. All right, everything's all done. Back together. Just hooking these back up. Lot's not going anywhere now. So it's good to go until the next time I break it. <laughs> Just in time too, it's starting to rain a little bit. Well, I'm glad that I got that taken care of. The only thing I gotta do is tear it apart again when it gets some actual black spray paint and spray it on. Before winter, I'll just pop that wheel well down. It won't take too long. Thanks for tuning in you guys and watching this video. Uh, if you've made it this far, hopefully the next video that you see will be me out wheeling with the pig. It's crazy how fast the summer went. It's over. Kids are back in school. Before we know it, it'll be snow wheeling time again. So looking forward to that a bit. <laughs> I 
I still got some other stuff I got to do before that happens. Stuff around the house. Other than that, that's it for this video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.